Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Mass Effect We're continuing. I am so excited for this episode, uh, but we are doing Miranda's video, uh, like, quest now. Uh, I finally found the area we need to go, but we need to talk to Garrus and Grump before we we'll leave. I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found yeah. a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, named Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sedonis was seen with him. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Of course, man. Definitely gonna help him, man. He's one of the people I trust in this ship. Um... And then we need to talk to Grum. Uh, it's not that's his name. His name, right? Pretty sure that's his name. Well, I'm not sure about it. Rondo Grump. It's it. Wine. Hello. What? Chamber said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual, like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. Oh my god. See, why do that? What's wrong? Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles, voices of warlords. This is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? Edie, anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the homeworld to Chunka. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Okay. That seems like the mission we are doing next. We're we'll doing hers and then his. Uh, because uh, he seems to have it bad. Uh, here. Miranda. Uh, and we got. Oh my god. Got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> okay. Um. Definitely taking her because we need her for the mission. Do we do? Really like Telly. Like she's probably one of my favorite characters uh, in this game uh, right now. Of these guys, we got. Uh, see what do Telly have? Uh, weapons. What the hell is this? A shotgun. What is this for a planet? Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. 
Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. No, you don't understand! I lost it some... 25, Set. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? Yeah. Commander Shepard, I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend in Averia is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Mm. Glad I let her go then. She seems to do fine. Uh. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. If I recall correctly, Miss Parasini, you owe me a beer. That I do. Have a seat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Uh, yeah, I think that's the way. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Guess we're going in. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? 
Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nasana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship. Or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. Okay, uh... If you know what I'm doing, you know I don't have time to hack terminals for fun. You ask, damn it. I didn't come begging for favor. I'm sorry. You're right. Do what you have to do, Shepard. I'll help you however I can. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Shepard. It's good. So. What? Shepard. Uh. So. Shepard. It's good to see you again. So. What? No. Shepard. So no Shepherd. So what can I do? How's your own work going? Ever it let me know when you hack those terminals. If it'll help when, you, I'll take it. Thank care. you, Shepherd. This may help me. Are you a Corian or Bolus who is tired of being passed? <laughs> promotions because of discrimination against exo suit wearing employees to Hack the terminals. Why I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course, I can help you with the consult and figure out what options work for you. Mm, but where are the terminals? Hmm, is it in here? Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lentea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse. But they never planned on you. Mm. Uh -oh. uh. 
said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get up. <laughs> that oh, they got one less well as telly uh, there we go still got them love this gun man oh, maybe I should activate uh, this Radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. If Eclipse knows where Ariana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. Okay. That's the exploder. Well, I don't want to stand by that. No more! Sister guys! Crypt 
this. And here we can equip uh, that. Is this more. valuable? Here we go! Going! Just die. Okay, I'm out. Uh, here. This should come in handy. Right on that. Just need to visit a lot of scan a lot of planets before that. Uh, Miller would like some ammo around here. Got some here. Um, uh, that's the one. Come on, where are you? Must be here soon. Come on. There. Last one is there. Hey, complete. Shotgun just need bullets. What did that do? Nothing. I thought it was supposed to go there. Okay. <laughs> fly, fly away. Go up. Leave me alone. Enemies in front. Then we're gonna do this. I'm not uh, even supposed to go on the other side of one. Oh, I can there. Switch here. Other uh, side. I want an explosion there, Marina. Yeah, die! Just die. Burn to death. Like that. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Got something to hack here. Uh, that's the one. And God damn it, it was up there. That's the one. Uh, come on. Nope, 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 nope. There we go, and it's done. Thank you for the money. I just really don't need that much of these money. Have a lot. How big is this?
Thank you, Edie. I want something there. Thank you. There we go. Let's travel. Come back, sir. Watch out. Try this. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in, and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? You know him, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Hmm. Mary. This should be fun. Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. If Niket knows about Oriana, then your father does too. Relocating her won't work. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Mary, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh. I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! Okay, she is really stupid. Oh. That's definitely not working. Got you, Doc. Hi, hi, hi. Come on, Bionic. Go up, Bionic. Safely. 
Okay. I can't yeah. believe Nick had sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human. Just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch. I know it hurts that he's gone. But at least you don't have his death on your conscience. No. I blame my father for that. Even now he's finding ways to screw with my life. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? You still have Orion. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. <laughs> no sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. Mission done! Okay, um, guess are we done with that now? Welcome to Synthetic Insight. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone whose food you can eat even. Mm -hmm. Figure something out. Stop worrying. Okay, I'll think of something. You said Synthetic Insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assume they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? I need you to let that slave go. Now. We prefer the term indentured servant. And I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Toast that, uh... After work, we could catch a bit or something. I still don't see why we're here. Marians do not get married. Never. Welcome to Eternity. I am Athena Asari Matriarch and bartender. What can I get you? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother, 
fought in the Krogan rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. Thanks for setting up the drinks. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. What? But which person do I need to talk to? Like, diseases or anything if we go natural. You again. I'd hope to see a representative from Synthetic Insights making an offer for the quarry. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. You again. I'd hope to see a representative from Synthetic Insights making an offer for the quarry. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. I don't have time for this. Fine, more power to you. you no, I want to do it. I'd hope to see a representative from Synthetic Insights making an offer for the quarry. What if I bought her myself? A a I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. Why did this quarry sign herself into slavery? I lost everything. As part of our agreement, I paid off her Sounds debts. great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. Why did this quarry sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Okay. Uh, no! I'll talk to you later. But where is the Synthetic rep? Guess I can look around. How's your own work going? F, it, let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can. If it'll help when, you, I'll take it. Thank care. you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great. Again. I know the data is vital to the Carosa family. Asana didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I mercenaries were starting to shoot. Serena? Who wants to know? Name Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. 
Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Just tell me where I can find Thane. The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. I'll find him. Not without some help. You don't just walk into the Dantius Towers, especially now. Suggestions? I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. I'll be back in a bit. I'll be here, but I wouldn't wait too long. I can't do that yet. I want to talk to that... Uh, I want to hit that... Uh, oh, what's the name? The slave there. I want to help her first. Trust me, it's coming in from the terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. I have no idea why I'm actually hacking here. Oh, this one. And two. There we go. You're sure gateway weapons and armor? Groves of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tuchanka. Oh, that's what she talked about. What do you want? Sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just going to keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him. If he said it, I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. It's just, we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Give me that, give me that. I'm rich here so I can buy everything. Over there, and don't get cute. Oh, monitor. Okay, though. I'm telling you, relax. Dax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't do it because it's a crime scene. It's all 
Oh, we got one more here. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will send in a cab. Mm -hmm. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Thanks for your help. Good luck with the Justicar. Try not to piss her off. Good to know. Okay, um, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. I'm gonna uh, continue in the next episode. So I'm gonna say thank you for watching, and see you guys in the next one. Bye.